And turning now to continuing coverage tonight, she lost her son in a swimming accident, a horrific swimming accident more than 40 years ago. And tonight, her reaction after the closing of that same swimming lake at the KOA in Monroe County. Action News reporter Tony Geftis live tonight in Summerfield Township with that story. Tony. Lee, this woman contacted me after the most recent drowning here at the KOA campground off US 23 exit 9. She says her son also drowned in this, excuse me, lost his life in this pond. Families have been destroyed. When Wendy Alley heard about the teenagers who drowned at the Monroe County KOA this summer and last, she says it immediately brought back memories of her own family tragedy. And I mean, I understand accidents happen when you go in the water, you hear about it, but not to this magnitude. In July of 1981, Wendy says she visited the campground with her family, including her four-year-old son, Jason. I don't know, he was like a perfect little boy. Wendy explains she and her husband left Jason with their in-laws and went for a walk. And we came back and I'm asking them, I'm like, well, where's Jason? And like, he was just here and my heart sank. Jason, she says, was found unconscious in the pond. And next thing I know, I hear somebody screaming. They found him. They had made a human chain. Wendy tells me Jason had apparently gone down a slide in the water and hit his head on a boulder at the end. They took him to Flower Hospital in Sylvania. He was transferred to Toledo Hospital, but Jason did not survive. Since then, the campground has removed that slide. After the most recent tragedy, the KOA posted to Facebook it is permanently closing the swimming lake and offering refunds to anyone with a reservation this summer. I'm thrilled. It's like all these kids, could all that could have been prevented if they just did proper measures. It's a small consolation for Wendy and her husband in Lincoln Park, Michigan, decades after the loss of their son. Today we could see they were using a pumper truck to drain the swimming lake into the adjacent pond. We reached out to the KOA for a comment, but we have not yet heard back. Lee. All right, Tony Geftis reporting live tonight. Now that's the same KOA campground where two teen boys drowned more recently. Mother of Anthony Lavelle Shores, 18 year old Start High School graduate who drowned last month, says while nothing will bring her son back, she's thankful no more families will have to grieve the loss of a child taken by that swimming lake at the KOA. I could think about was that my son's death was not in vain um, and that nobody else has to experience the type of pain and turmoil that I make me and my family and everybody that's connected to Anthony is experiencing. And as Tony pointed out, we have yet to receive a comment from the KOA, but we are told the campground is offering a refund to any of the visitors who booked reservations between today and September 4th. And we